I'm Gwen Ifill of the NewsHour and Washington Week on PBS, and I welcome you to the first and the only vice presidential debate between Gwen vice Ifill President Dick Cheney was one of the most prominent American journalists, period. And she was a trailblazer, a black woman who reached the highest levels of the news business. At this newspaper, she helped define the Clinton years. She covered NAFTA, health care, the appointment of Stephen Breyers to the Supreme Court. She was the face of the New York Times at the White House. And this was at a time when there was still open racism in American newsrooms at American newspapers. When she was at the Boston Herald as an intern, a staffer left a note in photo lab that said, nigger go home. She went on to be at the Washington Post. She was one of their best journalists. It was a coup when the New York Times could hire her, just as it was a loss when the New York Times lost her in 1994 to NBC. Gwen never forgot what it took to get to the top of her business. She didn't wear it on her shoulder, but she didn't shy away from putting it in everybody's face when things needed to be heard. I'm thinking of the time several years ago when Don Imus had been horribly misogynistic and racist in reference to the Rutgers basketball team. Awesome some rough girls from Rutgers, man. They got tattoos and some hardcore hoes. That's some, that's some nappy-headed hoes there, I'm going to tell you that now. Gwen wrote a piece yeah, for the New York Times recalling how Imus had referred to her as the Times' cleaning lady. He denied it, but she wrote this, and it really speaks to her awareness of how important her role was. She said, every time a young black girl shyly approaches me for an autograph or writes or calls or stops me on the street to ask how she can become a journalist, I feel an enormous responsibility. It's more than simply being a role model. I know I have to be a voice for them as well. That was sort of what she carried, but she didn't carry it as a burden. And race and gender weren't what you focused on when you watched Gwen Ifill on PBS or when you watched her at a vice presidential debate, of which she moderated too. As America watches these things happen on Capitol Hill, Senator Biden, was this the worst of Washington or the best of Washington that we saw play out? If Gwen Ifill leaves any legacy, and she certainly will, it'll be for straight, unflinching, honest and fair journalism, which the country's going to need for decades ahead.